Okay, hello internet, we are now recording for episode 116 of Enter the Dungeon. Who wants to give the recap of what happened last time, Chris? Yeah, I don't think I was there last week, I'm sorry, please. Well, Chris is not on camera. So. He's trying to speak, at least. He's also muted, so. Yep, so Ash, I guess it's you. Uh, of course. <laughs> if I hadn't said anything, I probably wouldn't find it. Okay, um... What, do you think we were just gonna sit here silently until Chris came back on? I don't know, maybe. Could also, been, could also have had Riley do it. Anyways. I wasn't here last uh, week. Oh, uh, in the last episode, we had... Uh, we ended up figuring out the puzzle in the, uh, statue room. Which was fun. Uh, we tried to bring the statues into the next room. They broke upon impact, presumably. Uh, and then in the next room, it was a... It was a graveyard where we had to fight off a necromancer. Oh, I missed it, necromancer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, Riley, and then... Two sessions? Excuse huh? Me? Yeah, Riley, I think you've been out for two sessions, right? No, so it was... Mother's Day was the one I missed. I think yeah. that's it. Did we meet on the first? Yeah, we met on the first we... and the eighth. What did we do on the first? Uh, let's see now. The fir the first was um, uh, cleaning up some stuff for the sigil wheel in, and then fighting, and then uh, going into the room with all the statues, failing the puzzle at first, and fighting the statues. Uh, the, the last thing I remember is that we fought the water creatures. Yeah, so that, that was two sessions. Okay. Oh dang, I'm sorry. I... No, that that was that was three sessions ago. Yeah, well, like it's been two, two sessions it's since he's been here. Is what I mean. Uh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> Shoot, I'm sorry. And, but yeah, so I guess we can dive in. Um, yeah. So Riley, um, you wake up in a strange room. You notice that it's surrounded on three sides by glass, and it seems to be a uh, mighty sea view. And you realize that in this room there are two beds, and um, there's two dressers, and there's a door on the uh, non-glass wall. Okay. Yep. Um, and I'm, I'm by myself. Yes, and um, yeah. and uh, on one of the dressers there seems to be some kind of dial. Okay, uh, I inspect the dial. Yeah, you see that um. It seems to rotate and it's labeled with different things like um, underdark, forest, mountain, desert, swamp. Okay, and I, okay, so I pick it up and I look at the door and see what it points at. Uh, the dot. It seems to be mounted on the uh, dresser. Oh, it's mounted onto the dresser. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what what direction is the door pointed at? Uh, like what? <clears throat> yeah. So there's a door on a wall on one side, and then the other three walls are glass with this view. Okay. Um, so you said the dial said said what again? I'm sorry. Um, let's see if I can do. Yeah, uh, it's labeled as uh, there's Arctic, coast, desert, forest, grassland, mountain, swamp, and underdark. I go. So can I click anything? Are they clickable? Um, it, it if you're touching the dial, it seems like it uh, rotates around. Oh, oh yeah. So like you pick whichever. Okay. Um, yeah. I pick, I'll pick grassland. So yeah, you, you switch it to a grasslands and uh, you know, it seems to be a very open plain. You see some uh, horses grazing about. Through the glass windows? Yes, yes. Okay, I switch to Arctic. Yeah, so you switch to the um, Arctic oh. and the whole thing seems to be a frozen sea around you. And there's some, um, there's these strange creatures. You never quite seen them before. They're very short. They're black and white. They seem to um, have beaks. Okay. I say that's uh, wrong. And I yeah. go to mountains. <laughs> if you switch to um, the mountains, then, you know, it's this uh, mighty hilly view. And um, you actually spot some giants in this particular shot. Oh, so, hey, I can understand them. All right. I'm trying to find my friends. Um, so let's go to forest. You said, oh, marsh. Marsh. Let's go marsh. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you go to the uh, swampland, then, um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a marshy area. There seem to be some, uh, reptiles scaling around and in the distance, what looks to be an ogre. All right. Um, go to forest. Yeah. If you go to the forest, it actually, um, seems to be a, um, 
rather dark, almost spooky forest. Like there's an owl floating around and um, there's some rats. Because you know rats, they prey at night and they stalk at night and they're the rats. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with, well, let's try it again. Um, Let's go to the underworld, the underrealm, you said, or the dark realm? Yeah, the underdark. Underdark. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, this one, it's a um, deep cavernous view and you see that um, out in the distance, there seems to be lava at the bottom. Okay. Um, and I think that's all of them, right? Yes. I think so. Okay. Um, <clears throat> would I have seen any trails of my companions? Um, any? no, you didn't see any sign of them. All right, I'll go back to the grasslands. Okay, <clears throat> this time when you go to the grasslands, it's actually a uh, different view. Oh, um, now, uh, the uh, grass, it's a um, much darker color, and there's a, a few trees. Okay, I, I, I will choose to exit the room. Okay, <clears throat> so if you open up the door, you see that there seems to be a landing and then a staircase that goes down. Mm-hmm. I go down the staircase. Okay, thank you. You know, you took that um, information a lot better than Fitch did. <laughs> what? <do> you, what? <laughs> you go down the stairs and you seem to be in some sort of tavern area. There's a gold dragonborn man sit- standing behind the bar, and behind him there are three pipes. What I have uh, known yes. is... Hello. He must be scared. Gordon. Is this Garethold? No, no. Okay. I said, hello, Mr. Dragon Man. How are you doing today? Nine, twelve. Doing well. Nine, My name is Ralph. Welcome to the Sigil Wheel Inn. Hello, Ralph. Um, can I have a chocolate milk, please? Wait, have, have you guys not met before? Interesting. You know what? Um, hmm. have okay. I met this guy before? Uh, no, no. Okay. So, uh, is it, oh, I'm sorry. You're not the serve for the waiter. Oh no, I I, I can produce you that. Oh, okay. Sweet. Sorry, I'm just. Never Take had it. someone ask me for that specific company. So you want like chocolate flavoring and milk, just to clarify? Yeah, yeah. And then um, you take a little spoon and then you swirl it up until it's like a dark brown. Brown. Color. Um, okay. And you um, see him produce like a um, <clears throat> like a canister of something, pour it into the milk, and then he stirs in a uh, powder. That'll be three silver, please. Here you go. Only got yeah. ten. Throw a free soap. Okay. Do you drink it? I sip it. As yeah, it's actually, twelve, it's... as a twelve-year-old, I would know what good and a culinary <laughs> artist, I would know what good milk tastes like. So I sniff it and then sip it. Yeah. So if you're, when you go to taste it, like it's actually horribly bitter. No. Like, it, um, make a perception check. This, uh, I yes. Have bandage because it's about food. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. You're, you're drinking this like a fine wine. Perception is charisma, right? No, it's uh, wisdom. Okay. Perception. Okay. Um, 11. Yeah, with an 11, there's definitely something up with this. Like, you realize uh, something missing here. Did he add the wrong thing? What's going on? Uh, right. Um, you got any cocoa powder? Yes, there's cocoa powder in there. Milk and cocoa uh, powder. Gotcha. You any sugar? That's what you wanted, right? Vaguely. Oh, you wanted sugar in it as well? Yeah, so it's a mix. So the powder is a mixture of cocoa powder and sugar and a couple of, I think, salt and some other stuff. And I go into depth about what, like, a Nest Quick powder is. Hmm. And you actually, uh, and you see that he takes out this gigantic book and you actually see him begin to write this down. Oh, very interesting. It's not often that an inventor has something new to teach me. Yes, I am a culinary artist, if I use it for myself. Fascinating. And, yeah. um, yes, I'm going to have on record that you're part of the Gerald Stone Mover Party. Oh, yeah, 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 I know those guys. Hey, you know, have you seen them? I'm looking for them. Yes, they, um, they went through this pipe, and he points to one of the green pipes behind him. But, oh, oh, you oh, watch. Okay, would you be oh, interested... Would you be interested in perhaps working with the Sigil Wheel in on a more official basis? Say, um, mighty cook such as yourself. Perhaps you could use some of our resources and give us more information about the culinary arts. Go on. <clears throat> so tell you what, there is a special arrangement that we can give to um, give to some adventurers 
certainly the more charismatic sorts such as yourself, Thank that you. they make a um, sort of deal with us in exchange for greater power and magics. Like Sasuke, gotcha. So, Riley, what I'm offering here is for Ralph to become your patron because you expressed interest in going warlock. Yes! Yes! Oh Everybody's my god, no. Everybody's being a warlock. I'm doing it. <laughs> Hold, on. Yeah. Hold on, I need to take a photo of my rabbit. Give me a second. But keep going. Keep going. What? Become a warlock with us. Yes. yes. Wait, Chris, I... did you interrupt the scene to just say, hey, I'm don't gonna mind me, a... I'm gonna leave the scene? <laughs> yeah, he interrupted it just to say, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something cooler than what the rest of you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So, I look at him. And I say, I think that I can help you out, sir. Nice. <clears throat> so tell you what, how about we start on um, a bit of a handshake agreement for now, and then you take the time, all the time you need to consider our offerings, <clears throat> and then we can make a more formal arrangement. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of something to say that I can kind of. All right, I'll, I'll save it. I'm gonna. Okay. I shake his head. You got it, boss. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't one of those. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll wipe it off. I wipe it off, and it's still like on my hand. And I go to. Oh wait, did you spit on your hand before? Yeah. You... <laughs> By the way, for those of you uh, listening at home, Riley and I, we just mimed holding out our hands to the screen to shake with each other. Yep. Role playing, yes. baby. Role playing. And when you shake hands with him, you actually do feel a bit of power go into you. I I kind of like shudder, kind of, and like like eyes kind of like go, there, and I go. Ugh. Okay, so <laughs> full disclosure, I looked over the warlock patrons, and none of them really seemed fitting for the sigil wheel in. So I kind of want to work with you to make like our own homebrew subclass for this. Oh, hell yeah. And here's the thing. When um, Thitch and Gerald were both uh, doing their trial runs with their Warlocks, they did get a, um, a... They got one of their powers just to sort of test it out to see if they liked it. So give me some time, and I'll uh, come up with a um, sort of a, a beta test power for you, I guess. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Yeah, like um, Thitch got his uh, Raven right away, and... Um, Michael got the ability to uh, cast message targeted at uh, two people at a time. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yep. Maybe mine could be something like <laughs> cooking even better. I don't know. I can't think of anything Perhaps. off the top of my head. But yeah. <sighs> but okay then. But yes. <clears throat> and um, oh, also, before you catch up with your party, do you have any loot you wish to sell from the tower? Um, uh, from the tower? Yes. What's the tower again? I'm sorry, I forgot. The the tower that you're in currently? Oh, oh you want me to loot it? What? No, the, the, the magical place that you've been in, traveling from floor to floor. Oh, oh, I'm still in there. Oh, yes. I, totally, I totally forgot about that. Um... Is there anything that I can drag into the uh, the the green tube? No, he's asking. Do you have anything you want to sell that you brought with you? Oh, I don't have anything. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Okay then. Um, can I can I steal that table, real quick? Do you want to steal that table? Well, not steal, but like take it and then use it and then. It'll probably break. What What would be the benefit of you taking that table? To in, to um to to assert dominance in this next place that I'm going. And and he just looks at you and says, Look, "Um, the size of the pipe is smaller than the size of the table. It wouldn't." Oh, fit. I can take. Uh, is a chair okay then? And he says, "Sure, t take the bar stool you're si sitting sitting on." Thank you. It's like as tall as me. <laughs> yeah. No. So I go over to the thing. And I say, "You coming?" No, I I have to stay at my station. 
All right. Uh, see you in a bit. I throw the chair in there, and I turn around. I go in to go in the thing, and I say, so is it like Mario where, like, we stand on top of it and we slowly sink down? Um, no, I think it's more of just, like, you, you just fall into it. Oh, okay. So, like, I kind of jump on top of it, and I turn around, I look at him, and I salute him, and then I jump backwards into the thing. Okay. And jumping back over to the graveyard, Easy Oho and, um, Fitch... You suddenly see, well, first coming through the pipe is a bar stool, then followed very quickly by the child fighter. Ah. Uh, do, do we end up taking a sh- do we end up taking a short rest? I can't remember at yes, the end of the last did. session. Okay, cool. That's right. And uh, quick, Fitch, make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> uh, Sixteen. Okay. Six. Well, sixteen. Yeah, I guess. Oh, you rolled a sixteen. Yeah, I rolled a sixteen. Oh, in that case, yeah, like um, your um monk-like reflexes let you know that hey, something's about to fall on top of me. You just uh, do a backflip out of the way, and immediately right where you had been standing is where the barstool lands, and then right next oh to you is the ground fighter. Oh my I gosh! I land like a superhero. Hey, it's that projectile stuff. Hey, man, how you doing? How, how, how you guys doing? Hey, nice to see you. I, He's I, awake. The child I, is awake. Yeah, sorry, I had to take a little snap, nappy nap, but I'm good enough. Nice, nice. Glad to see you're here. Uh, are you gonna hey, stream where have you the been? map? Where have you been? I've confused you. Are you going to stream the map? I mean, you guys have already cleaned up the graveyard, so we don't really need that map. Well, anymore. we want to also throw the bodies in the pipes. You, you are you took care of that at the end of last time. Okay. All right. What, All right. What happened here? Where am I? There was there was a necromancer that we had to fight. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen one in real life. What do you look like? Or are they? He was they... like, what was he? An old guy? He was wearing this hat, and I, I gestured to uh, the hat that I'm wearing now. <laughs> and uh, Ash, do you want to explain the effects of that hat? Uh, sure. So what this hat does is it uh it boosts it it boosts my uh intelligence. Yes. But also takes away from, uh, gives gives me a plus one to intelligence, minus one to wisdom for the score, not the actual modifier. Yes. Interesting. Yes, this is the uh, hat of the Mad Mage, and it's whispering dark secrets. Oh, that's gotta be fun. On top of him, who like already hears like things in the super paranoid. <laughs> So I guess essentially we all hear stuff at this point. We're all going crazy. <laughs> oh, so we're all hearing it. No, we're not. We're I mean, not I, all hearing. We're all hearing different voices. I'm oh. I'm hearing two sets of voices. Yeah, I'm <laughs> hearing. I've heard. I'm I've heard one sets of one set of voices. He's hearing two. <clears throat> Geralt is trying. hearing one. Uh, <laughs> Riley is now hearing one. Yeah, uh, the only one, hearing one soon. yeah Earth Rover is the only uh, one that's not hearing magical voices in his head. Hey, yo. Actually, wait. I've got. I could potentially have a maximum of what? Everyone from the Thanatos realm. And. Actually, everyone from the Thanatos realm. <laughs> How many people live in the, in the Thanatos realm? Uh, let me see. Styx, uh, Raven Queen, um, Vampire, uh, the, whatever that forest was. Was it the forest? No. Yeah. Uh, Thanatos himself. Uh, well, Thanatos is the forest. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. That, that was what it was. So then, four. Plus, oh, plus the, uh, dwarf. Yep. Yeah, you're, you're hearing a lot of voices. You're hearing the most voices. I'm catching up though. I hear two I'm voices. Catching up. <laughs> we have got five. 
I'll get the uh, I'll get four or more. <laughs> Those tempt me with a good time. <laughs> oh yeah. Who knows? Maybe one of these was will actually not. Well, maybe I'll insane. I'll maybe get uh. <laughs> I'll hear, start hearing the uh, prayers of my followers. <laughs> oh no. Maybe it was a uh, okay, okay, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, you guys are in this cleared out graveyard, and. Oh, right. Then, too, um, so this last time, uh, there are two pipes in this uh, graveyard. One is labeled Steel, the other is labeled Deal. And for clarification, Steel is spelled E E L. E E L? Yes. E E L. So, st- Steel is in the middle? That's the way it's spelled, yes. The other one is okay. Deal? Yes. D E A L. Yes. Wait, is E L a word? E L? D E L? Or D E E L? Uh, looks like E-double. it's a, um, of the payroll company in oh. California. Like, hmm, guys, we, we go to a California payroll company or no? Hey, guys, do we go for the metal or the California payroll company? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I mean, oh, considering the um, uh, mass amount of wage stuff that happens in this country, they both qualify as steel. Oof. Is my lord and savior. Um, I go over to the deal thing, the tomb, and I drop down like a, like, so because I'm a, I'm a cook, right? Can I just have like a rabbit? Not cook dead, dead rabbit. Like ready to cook. Yeah, like that. Except oh. the rabbit Chris is holding is alive, I hope. Wait, Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me yeah, change yeah, this. Yeah. Let, me, let me change that. Yeah. Change that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So can I like drop a dead Ow, rabbit on it doing? and like say please accept my gift as a deal? I I'm 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 willing to accept a deal. Mm-hmm. See what happens? There doesn't seem to be a response. All right, all right. Well, I take the rapid back, and I go over to the steel. I do the same thing. There's no response from that pipe either. Okay, so I I go over to the guy. Say, guys, I I have no. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what should we do? Ah, oh, yes. Hold on. Perfect. Let's uh prepare him to cook. It's just. A... <laughs> Chris, please stop using your rabbit as a prop. Why? No, he's perfectly good as a prop. I mean, like, why? I would be perfectly fine with using him as a magic a magician's prop. You know, rabbit out of the hat. Yes. Oh, it looks like an alien when you hold his ears back like that. Wait, like this? Yeah. Okay. Yes, so um, the, the, the muscular child is dangling a dead rabbit between two pipes. What did the other two of you want to do? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. The steal and deal. Steal and deal. I go over to deal and I say, I'm jumping in. Okay, I feel like deal is a good it. idea as well. Okay. I feel like steel is just a realm of steel. Just everything's very strong, hard metal. Okay, you guys are flopping through. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a messy floor. Oh no. Because there are four statues, four zombies, and a dead wizard. Oh, okay. Oh, what? We're thinking, I, I thought the statues were broken. Yes, but surely you guys threw the rubble down the pipe. Chris, did you, uh, Thitch, did Thitch throw the uh, statue pieces through the pipe? Yes. But, okay. Rip. Why? Well, Actually, it, were they whole pieces? Like, could you see like the definition of face, or were they just rubble, rubble at that point? Uh, no, no, they were just in um, two or three pieces each. 
How much more broken are these touches going to be? Hey, oh, ooh, it's okay. soon we will have no a million land, pieces. And you seem to be in a warm, dry cave. There are two lava falls, I guess, nearby on either side. Ooh. And you see that there seems to be a bit of elevation where a dark, strange, um, borderline humanoid, almost bird like creature seems to be a little bit made as shadow is standing up there. Oh. Wonderful. Okay. Welcome, challenger, to my domain. What have you to offer me? That's different. I have a dead rabbit, Sire. I have a bunch of statue rubble. Oh, wait. Oh, you know those hands that I... Wait, were they hands or a head? In my bag of holding. <laughs> Uh, why do you, why do you not know the difference between the hands and hold on for a second. the heads? Oh come on, like you've never gotten them mixed up. No, I don't! I don't regularly get those mixed up, you know? Because I'm not a maniac. Maniac, maniac. Yeah. Yeah, this strange creature, it's got like, you know, the upper torso of a human, but with like almost claw-like hands. And its bottom half, it almost like slithers into like a snake-like formation, and its head has like large horns on it. And mighty huh. black wings. Ew. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Anything with black wings isn't good. Uh... And it looks directly at Easy Oho. Mark the one, do you have an offering? Uh, I'm going to... W would it be a history or... I, I want to make a check to see if I can remember where I know this guy from. Because he clearly knows me, but I don't know him. Um, let me see now. I almost feel like this would be Arcana to decipher sort of who or what this creature is. Oh, Arcana? Yes. Okay. Or, or religion, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna go with religion. Okay. A 12. Total. Um, so you're able to decipher that this is either some sort of demon or devil. Nice. And that often, you know, the, um, they, they, they tend to um, have I, I, maybe a network is the wrong term, but there tends to be like a lot of communication between them about uh, you know who works for who. Okay. Um. So since since my since my patron is another is like an, another one of these is like another creature like them. Uh, I am going to speak in demonic because presumably I would understand that. Um, like if huh? You mean abyssal or infernal? Yes, abyssal. Or... Okay. Uh, uh abyssal or what, infernal you said? Um yeah, something like that might make sense. Um infernal would probably make more sense. Actually, them oh, Yeah. Yeah, which wait, do you speak in do you speak both? Uh I'm I'm gonna pick one. Uh we'll go with Infernal. Okay. Yeah, you so what do you say to it? Yeah. So it it basically uh recognized me. I mean what do you, I mean it called you marked one. Yes. A marked one. I'm assuming uh, yes, I don't understand one. that, right? No, he said that part in common. Oh, okay. Let's see how this creature has been speaking to you all. Wait, what did he? He said, "What did he say to me?" Yeah. Just offering. He said, right? "Welcome, challenger. What do you have to offer me?" Okay. Who marked? Who marked me? And with that, his eyes glow red. Do not speak the devil tongue in my presence.
you don't look much like my my master, so why not? And he continues speaking in common. Challengers, it's time for you to run your gauntlets, but an offering shall decrease the blood that you must <laughs> offer later. So do you wish Wait, to what? give up do you wish to give now or give later? Ooh. Would you like to repeat yourself again? Yes, it's time to run the gauntlet. You must give. But do you wish to give treasure or blood? Mm-hmm. Or perhaps blood blood in another form for me? <clears throat> you say blood, right? Because yes. it has to be paid now or later. That is your choice, half like Also, by the way, what am I looking at again? Um, it's this really freaky creature. It's got like the um, upper torso of a human almost, but with long arms that go almost into like claws and its uh, head has large horns coming out of it and it has two mighty black wings and its lower body is like that of a snake. Okay. Hmm, what do I want? <clears throat> oh, right. Um... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Hmm. I don't really have much that I can give up. Unless I want to give up my weapons. Weapons or the or the wizard hat. Which neither one sounds all that good. Do you wish to make an offer, or shall we simply advance to phase two? And to clarify, he's on a platform about uh, 10 feet up. My oh my. Oh, this isn't looking good. What do I look beside it? What are those orange things? That, that's uh, lava. That's lava. Oh, that's lava. Oh, okay. Wouldn't I recommend you jump in it, you know? Dang it, I Whoa. wish we had the earth mover here. Yeah. Well, you don't know what flavor it is yet. Do you want to go look it? What <laughs> flavor? Lava? Yeah. I, I mean, as interesting as that would be, I'm pretty sure it only has one flavor, meaning burnt. You know how, like, someone said that the taste of space was burnt? I don't remember that. Well, Andreas said that uh, torches taste like tissue damage. (laughs) Anything above the 500 degrees tastes like tissue damage. (laughs) So, travelers, what shall it be? Can we choose whose blood it is? Oh. I offer. Do not be slow. So you do wish to give a gift of literal blood now? I got you, bro. Don't worry. (laughs) Wow, okay. (laughs) I have the knife out already. (laughs) No, I got it. Uh, uh, Can uh, I... I'm gonna... hmm. Ah, yes, gentlemen. I appreciate your willingness to do what it takes even if that means oh can taking can, into great use the energy of a child very brilliant can can i make an arcana check to see if i can figure out what he wants his blood for um yeah if, if you want you can make like an insight or arcana try to figure out what's going on here Inside or we're going with or you can just ask him more questions. You want to try doing that first? Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to comedy because clearly I'm not gonna get any answers from talking in Infernal. Yeah. What what do you want the blood for? Why? 
Oh, this is simply what Master Tower calls for. Oh, another tower guy. You must make an offering. You will make it eventually, but we give you a choice. Do you give it freely so, now, or do we have question. to take it in a few moments? Question. Yes. Is there any way we could talk to your manager? I'd like to speak to the manager. <laughs> you're, you're going to be a Karen now, okay. Oh, Traveler. Is that the treasure that you seek from the tower? If so, you will find it eventually. <laughs> manager. Boy, <laughs> <played> a Karen. <laughs> No, no, I'm not that. I'm not that kind of character. But uh, immediately, my my character's mind goes to uh, alcohol. So, do I need to be more clear as to my intentions for you? Um. <laughs> well, shorter-lived beings. I look around me one more time. It's just lava. That's just that guy. Uh, Raven gets sent up high into the air just to check the area one more time. Yep. Yeah, this it just seems to be the um, four of you in this uh, particular cave. No system. holes? Nope. And question. I have a small question. Yes. Can an unseen servant carry a liquid? I mean, yes, but not lava. Oh, well, that's a that's a hot solid that has been melted into a liquid. So, can it carry a liquid? So, yes, but what 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 are you going to get them to carry? Also, you did not answer my question. Do you need me to be more clear, or do you understand the situation? Can you be a little bit more specific, please? Ah, uh, we would like a hint. <laughs> ah, so, no, don't worry. This Can information is given freely. We are going to do combat in a minute, but if you can give me an offering first, I might go easier on you. Uh, <laughs> anyone know what his kind is? I, I kind of... <laughs> um, oh, no. Uh, I, I'll make a check. Yeah, go I, ahead and make a religion check, Riley. <laughs> I, I already tried and I couldn't figure it out, so... That, it's like some sort of demon, that's all I characters. figured out. Oh, I got a 12. 12 total? Yeah, with the 12, you know, this definitely sounds like, um, you know, so, like, like, like the demons that you would hear about in, um, you know, stories and stuff that would come to make deals with uh, mortals. Okay. I, I, I tell him, like, all right, guys, look, here's the thing. He wants to make a deal with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's our Oh, I've made tons of deals. Yeah. Honestly, I I, I, I I say, excuse me, sir, can we huddle up for a second? Okay. And uh, I hold you guys up. I'm like, guys, we can take this. We can take him, even if he goes his hardest. All right? So who cares? Okay, true. That's true. Yeah, I can. I, plus, 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 if we kill him, we get to have his body. I can go throw that bitch right into the pipe. Yes. <laughs> right Perfect. into the pipe. That sounds like a great plan. Uh Easy go. You have you got that plan. Uh, also, if it's just him, I think we can take him. If it's anyone else, I don't know if I can protect you guys, or especially Asher. I... He's definitely one of the beings of the underworld. So then, how, anything that would go well against that? I'm not sure that that many of my spells would help, but I will try. Uh, I'm I, I, as I'm doing more... this. I'm I'm going I'm going to cast false life on myself. Okay. Uh, it, it just gives me a little bit of extra. I damage. should already have my. Uh... Yes, you should have your mage armor up. Yes. Perfect. Um, That's exactly. Who else is unarmored? No, Riley's armored. Yep. Cool. I've got my extra HP. 
because I'm assuming we're about to start doing battle. Yeah. Um. So, have you come to a conclusion then? How far away is he? Don't trust him. Don't trust him. From you, he's... He's about 45 oh, feet. Okay. So I can only go like 40 feet. No? How, how far? How 35. 35? No, I've got and 40. I've got 40. He's also like 10 feet up. Yeah. Uh... Wait, how uh... do you have a speed of 40? I have a uh, speed of 40, unarmored. Yeah, but... Oh, wait. You did level up recently. What level are you? I'm level 6 monk, level 2 warlock. Yeah, I mean, but remember, since you were a halfling, you started with a speed of 25. Well, so, I yeah. Oh, no, I stand corrected. It's plus 15. You're right. Oh, dang. On today's episode of Drew gets absolutely schmacked by knowledge. Yeah. No, I'm doing it in an automatic program. <laughs> ah, okay. So, uh, have you reached a conclusion, travelers? I say we kick his ass. I like the no way sacrifice. he looked. I like the no way he looked. No, he sacrifices to us. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and just cast... Cast Eldritch Blast at yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna also cast. Uh... Okay, roll for initiative. I, say, I also cast <laughs> Chill Touch. <laughs> we all cast Eldritch Blast at the same time. <laughs> I cast Chill Touch. It's um, you said it was um, plus plus Dex. Yep. Dex right. and proficiency, or just Dex? No, just Dex. Okay. All right. Roll D twenty. Oh wait. So, did we? We we made you did a thing where you let me get an eighteen wisdom, right? So that I could be a warlock or have a plus four. What? No, it was a it was a thirteen charisma. So thirteen thirteen charisma. That's what it was. How yeah. did you get thirteen and eighteen mixed up in your head? No, because I because my wisdom. I thought it was eighteen wisdom, but it was thirteen charisma. So that's my bad. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. 18. So to be I, fair, uh, he had I to guess... replace his character sheet recently. Yes. <laughs> There's, there's a big difference between 13 and 18. Listen, just saying. You weren't, if you weren't in California right now, I'd smack you. I'm not in California! <laughs> okay, then he's gonna smack you. <laughs> well, you better get over it. Good luck getting here. Where where are you, bro? Colorado. Oh, nice. I have a trap. Must be beautiful this time of year, all that snow. Uh, what, what snow? Snow. It's the middle of snow. May. Guys, won't be long before we're gonna get there with snow. Anyway, uh, so who's 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 going first? I Is haven't gotten demon? anyone's initiatives yet. Eighteen. I I told you mine seven. is nine. I got seven. Seven, eighteen, and nine. Demon Lord's going first? How'd you know? Because two of us rolled poorly, and I get the feeling that that an 18 is not quite enough. Call me crazy on that. You're crazy. Yes. So he um a C- so his mouth turns into a wide smile. <laughs> And um, <laughs> and he's gonna fly up to the ceiling. Why the ceiling? How how high up is that? I Seems get my raven away from the air. Forty feet in the air. Okay. Staying away from him as max distance as possible. Yep. And his um head looks. Yeah, he turns his um whole head backwards to look at you, and he seems to and, and he starts uh, shouting something in a language you don't understand. Anyone have silence? Do any of us understand it? I don't think so. Does anyone know? I know, I know, I know. Giant. That's it. <laughs> I, I'm assuming he's talking in a, in abyssal. Can I? Awesome. Can I? Um, as a reaction, cast charm person and try and get him to tell us what the hell else? That would be a full action. Okay. Well. Also, what about this creature makes you think it's a person? Good point. 
<laughs> well, I thought it was permanent. Okay, I, when I saw, term, I just saw charm. Correct. Um, dang, I should have done, put a silent image. Oh well. Um. How far away is he? 40 feet uh, in the air? You know, he's like 50 feet away from, uh, upwards from you. Okay, so I can't use that spell. Plus another four, that's fine. Yeah, is, four, he doesn't count as 40 undead. 40 feet to the right. Based on my knowledge of geometry, we can still hit it with Eldritch Blast. <laughs> I can still hit him with my, uh, What's the range on Eldritch Blast? 120 feet. Oh, okay, yeah, he's within range. I can still hit him with a Chill Touch. What's the range of Chill Touch? 120 feet. Oh. Really? I'd yeah. expect that to actually, you know, require physical touch. <laughs> That's what I said. But luckily it's just a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of, in the space of a creature within range. Okay, make the attack roll. Alright, let's go. Hold it. I got this in my head. Four. No. Fourteen plus six. Yes. That's a roll 20. Damage. 20. That head troll damage. Awesome. And it's a uh, 2d8. Okay. Something tells me that's not going to be very effective. Seven damage. Okay, so yeah, you just fling one of your uh, phantom punches up towards him, and he seems to catch it in his mouth. It does move his head back a little bit, causing him to hit it against the um, roof of the cave, but he just shakes it off. Barely seems to have grazed him. Barely seems to graze him. Well, he has to get close. He at you. He's got okay. resistance to necromancy. Do you move around at all? damage. Hmm? Am I allowed to cast a silent image? Nope. Not unless it's a bonus action. Right. Uh, let me check. No, it's a uh, one action. Good. Do we have a bow? I've, I've got a crossbow. Okay. We, we can start using that if that'll do. If you think that'll do more damage. Yeah, I might. Okay. Are you, are you doing anything else? I don't know. Is he still in the air? Yes. Yes. Chris, do you, do you have any bonus actions that you can take? I don't think you do. I don't think I do. Other than can, uh, preparing my crossbow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you just want to spend the rest of your turn taking your crossbow, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And anyway, you see from one of these um, lava falls, there seems to be this strange metallic creature coming up. It's like ah. dripping lava, and it seems to have like a flame-crested body, but it's not hurt by it. Oh, dear God. Of course. Does it make any sounds that comes out of the lava? Um, yeah, I, I imagine something like that would probably make, like, um, some amount of noise, right? Okay, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Just like, or maybe even just the sound of lava splashing that back down on the lava. Ah. Oh. The sound of lava splashing on lava, yes. That <laughs> sound. Does it sound like water? No. No, just, it sounds like lava, okay. Yeah. Dear I God. don't know what lava sounds like, so. I don't know okay. if we can touch that. You don't have to touch it. And it's gonna float over towards uh, uh, Jordan Flay. Gordon Flay. Oh god, are uh, we gonna die? I'm. I'm just gonna shoot an arrow at him. I think that's the only thing that, I can that, do. Not your turn yet. Oh, okay, my bad. I thought you said it was No, it's my turn. Presumably. That, the, the creature hasn't gone yet. It just moved towards some. Um, just move towards me, okay. I almost rolled damage before I made the attack roll. No, that's not uh, how things work. I, as of right now, I am holding my shield. Does a 16 beat your armor class? If it meets, it beats. Yes. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Yeah, that beats. Yeah, so it slams down this... Either. I almost rolled a d- I just rolled a d20 for the damage. I, I really need to get my dice for you, pal. Yes. Come on, dude. Actually, okay. so what was the expense? 
Yeah, so it's hefting a Warhammer and slams down on you. First for uh, six bludgeoning damage and then three fire damage. And you realize that this creature is very, very hot. Okay. And like, it's like glowing even, like shining some light around you. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, so that puts me... Oh, this doesn't have my... Jo um, Drew, I... This doesn't have my updated um, health points. Do you remember what my health points were before previously? You, no. you just took a long rest. What's your constitution modifier? Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you saying after your level up? Yeah, after my level up. I can't okay, remember. yes. Then what's your con mod? Uh, zero. Okay, in that case, just um, add seven to your... Um, uh, max health, and you should be at full health since you took a long rest. Gotcha. Okay, I just want to make sure. I, I th that sounds about that sounds close to what I had. So that would be fifty-three. Okay, so I just took nine points of damage. Nine damage. Yes. Okay. Nine damage. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really hot. Nasty. Okay. So, I, yeah, so uh, like, hey, he's pretty hot. How big is this guy? Um, about the size of a person, but now it's easy Oho's turn. Okay. What do I think is going to be easier to hit? Uh, the demon in the sky, or the thing which is attacking Gordon. I'm going to go for the thing in the sky. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Range spell attack, so Okay, plus Proficiency modifier is plus three at this level, correct? Yes. Okay, so twenty. Yeah, 20, that, that hits. Cool. So, first one hits. Thank God for... I hear frogs all around me, and I can see a couple of them. Do they want to play with so us? So, the first blast deals... Four damage, okay. and I need to make a second uh, attack roll for the second bolt. Correct. Correct. Twenty-three. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Another four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. So yeah, up, upon seeing this thing just leap up into the air, I'm just gonna. I just cast this beam of energy just to yeah. hit this thing and I cast two beams of light which just go and hit this thing and hopefully yeah. it hits it back into the wall a little bit. It it doesn't move. Ow. Okay then. Um, after yeah. that, that's going to bring us to Gordon. Alright, I'm going to... So he's really close to me, right? Yep. Alright, I'm going to... Whack at him with my uh, long sword. Actually, wait, he's, really, he's really close to me, right? Yeah. Let me look up something really quick. Um, can I use a cantrip spell as an action, or can I use it as a bonus action? Um, no, I mean your, your poison spray is a full action. Uh, it's poison. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you have the specs on it? Poison spray. Uh, I'm not sure how effective poison spray is going to be. Poison on spray it. It looks... is a um, it, it's a saving throw, and on a hit, it would take two d twelve uh, poison damage. Two d twelve. Yes, it's actually not bad. Yeah. That's... So not bad. <laughs> I think that's better than one d ten. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to blast him with poison? Sure, I'll, I'll blast him. I have two attacks, so I'll do it anyways. I blast well, him. Well, your spell takes the full action, and he got a 19 for his saving throw. 
Okay. Um, so he obviously succeeds. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to swing at him with the long sword then. Well, I mean, casting sword. the spell, it takes your full action. I have... Oh, it's... I didn't Unless you want to action surge. Can I do that once per round or once per turn? Uh, action surge, it's once per um, rest. So you'd get it again if you took a short oh, rest. Oh, once per rest. Okay. Um, Wait, let me fact check that. Action like, surge! Even though action I have surges. two attacks, even though I have two attacks, it would still... That takes up my... Yeah, attack. yeah, it's once per rest. And so, yes, if you were to take an action surge, then you would be able to take two attacks. Okay, that makes sense. Um... I'll, I'll use it. Actually, what, uh, what, what level of fighter are you? Eight. You can, you can attack twice. You got two yeah, attacks. Yeah, oh. I have two attacks. Yes, so if you were to action surge, you would get both attacks. Oh, but you can Hold on. Straight yeah, but you, you, you already did one attack, so you can do another attack still. Yeah, casting a spell is different from attacking. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't understand. an attack spell? Yeah, oh, okay. Sorry, did not know that. Um, so in that case, yes, I'll use action surge and then swing my long sword. Out. Okay. Sorry, sorry for the confusion. Uh, seventeen. That hits. Okay. And, uh, plus three. So six damage. Is that including your strength? Yeah. Okay. So that's the good news. You smack into this thing for six damage. Um, here's the bad news. My sword melts. Uh, not exactly. But you are so close to this thing that you get right up and you accidentally brush against some of its fire and you take seven fire damage. Seven damage? Oh my goodness. Yeah. And I can't. Oh, that's that's hot. That's so hot. And my turn is done. I can't run. I can't move. You have one more attack, however you want to play this. Could I move and attack or no? Yes, you could move, but you'd be risking an opportunity attack. Opportunity attack? With your AC, it could be worth it. Yeah, okay. Um, at this point... Um, can I, can you, can I hold my shield and the longsword, or no? Yes, it yes. Would, okay, so I do that, and then move 10 feet, 15 feet? Here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just, like, pretty far away from him. Can I, can I move any further away from that, or no? Okay, luckily he missed. I mean, okay. yeah, how far do you want to go, Hugh? Actually, that right there, yeah. Yeah, and um, luckily, yeah, he tried to smack at you with his warhammer, but missed. Okay, perfect. And then this time, I'm gonna drop the longsword and the shield and try and hit him with a bow. Okay. If you all allow that. Can you allow? Okay, sweet. This is a lot, but it's interaction surging. We'll um, we'll, we'll count the movement as your bonus. Uh, the the switching weapons as your bonus action, real quick. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Um, seventeen plus seven. That hits. Okay, so that's a D8. What's it? Ten. Ten, uh, ten total. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I actually like this. Like, um, hey, Gordon learns from his mistakes. He's smacked down. She's like, ah, ah, that's not good. Back and yeah. up, back and up. And, wing. Yeah, an arrow lands uh, true. And you actually see where it kind of... um. Uh, dents some of the metal of its body. As you can imagine, it's so hot that some of its body can get softened sometimes. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now... Now another one of these creatures pulls up from the lava. Oh, God, no. And it floats over near Stitch. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, actually... Technically, Easy Oho was as close as target. Uh, of course, I'm the first target. Got it. Cool. We're standing closer. I gotta play this. Fair. Way. I can't fair, pick fair, on fair. Chris just because he's my favorite. Sure, you can. <laughs> what? Okay, then. Does a 
14 beat your armor class? <sighs> Barely, but yes, it does. Okay. So, yeah, this this uh, terrifying creature made of fire and steel just steps forth from the lava, bringing its uh, warhammer down on you for... Yikes. Eight bludgeoning damage and six fire damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say that this guy, he was like still dripping lava slightly since it was so close, and that's why he um, did max fire damage. Nice. Why? Okay. Why? So, okay. Does does the creatures, does this metal creature's uh, weapon get damaged at all from because it's so hot still? Doesn't seem to. Okay. That was a nice thought. So that's done, you guys. I'm going to die now. Peace. All right. So we kind of need you to help fight the devil thing. Okay. You, you need me to fight the devil thing? Okay. Because uh, I can't do any long rage, and if I can't get close, I can't do it much. A lot, all the damage that I think I can do. That makes sense. So you're, so, so this I'm gonna is gonna result... protect, yeah. protect Ash. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna get its attention. <laughs> okay. Hey, over here, over here, you big slime ball. Well, the creature seems to disappear. What? What? Yeah, um, it just, just looking right at it. It it disappeared. Quick question. Um, yeah, Fitch, so... we're, wait, yeah. Uh, well, I think Fitch was the only one looking in its general direction, but even still, you're probably distracted by this creature coming out of the lava, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the way I see it is that, like, your head glanced over at this rising creature, and then when you look back, this, um, this, uh, you know, strange fiend was gone. Okay. Um... Drew, I have a quick question for you. But, um, oh, wait, I also have a question. Uh, Ask him. Okay, um, so how my friend explained um, detect magic was sort of like a ping, like a sonar, and it just shows you where it is. Yeah. Um, so if I were to cast detect magic, or is that, is that being magical? Or like, if, it, if that being using something that is magical? You could don't know ping, yet. Ping it? Okay. I would have to, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Now it's Next question. Time. Okay, Raven would have been looking at the thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like Raven was able to. Uh, yeah, through Raven, now you were able to notice that it seemed to be moving towards you when it uh, sort of slipped out of uh, focus, and you weren't able to see it anymore. Oh no! But now it's your turn. Hmm. Oh, the the demon's gone. Oh, Christ! Okay. Let's figure out what to do, what to do. Let's see, I'm not damaged. No. If I if I knew where this thing was, I could I cast I could cast a spell which allows us to see it. Well or at least see the outline of it, so. How does uh Drew, how does um Is it features? Yes it's features. How does where is it? Hold on, hold on. Magical uh, strikes count. So because my strikes are key empowered strikes, meaning my unarmed strikes count as magical. Yes, that's for purposes of overcoming um, resistance to uh, non-magical attacks. Okay. I'm so, assuming... Um, so if uh, these um, metal creatures or that... Um, Fiend are resistant to non-magical bludgeoning damage, then you're covered. Awesome. But it's, it's your turn. Yeah. And well, you have minutes to decide. Well, for one, I do need to protect Ash. Um, and two, how how much do I, how much key do I regain from that long rest? All of it. All of it. Awesome. This is good. Oh. So, I will do this. I'm going to start flurrying of blows with Spire Monster. Okay. Go for it. 
You're going to take fire damage. I hope you know that. Yeah, I know, know that. that. Ash, you don't well, know I, that either. I, I know. I hmm? assume it's a big fire thing. I'm assuming I'm going to get burned in some way. Oh, okay. It. That's fine then. Hold on. It's 12 plus uh, plus set. No, hold on. Where is plus it? Eight. Plus eight? Yes. No, I thought it was plus seven. No? Your, your Mungadax is plus eight. I'm okay, so sure. then uh, yeah. 20 yeah. then. Oh, no, wait, you're right. It's plus seven, but either way, it hits. Hey, 19. <laughs> either way, that hits. Right. Yeah, so you punch into this thing. Uh, roll damage. It is 2d6 plus four. Is it? The, is it uh, 1d6. 1d6 plus four. So 10 damage. Yeah, so you punch this thing. It's a very solid hit. The problem is that you actually feel your hand, like, it's traveling through some of this, uh, you know, into its superheated body a little bit, and you take eight fire damage. Uh, is it possible I could just uh, punch, like, leave it on the right on the outside? You know, like, how on a surface punch? But, like, get close, but not necessarily touch? I mean, this whole thing... I, I mean, this whole thing is super heated. If you make contact with it... Question. You know how sometimes when you punch it, uh, touch something really fast, like a stove, you don't get burned? Kind of like the light and frost effect? I mean, in, in order for you to get a good hit on this thing, you're going to need to take the fire damage. How much damage? It was eight fire damage. Eight fire damage. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can take that. I should hope you can take 8 damage. Does it matter about AC, uh, armor class at all? Nope. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. How does it look? How is it looking? I mean, that, that was a solid hit. Did it... Did it, it lose dented mass? A little bit. Dented a little bit? Yeah, like you were able to get like a good dent into the middle of its body. Is that your turn? No, that's not my turn. I did flurry of blows. Okay, then keep going. Yeah. Get ready for all the fire damage. Yeah, I know. Uh. I can't get close to it. All I can do is long range and not. I want to do as much damage as possible. Wait, if, well, you... Chris, if you want, you can instead uh, be using your key to steps to the wind, get to safety, and then be shooting it with your uh, crossbow or longbow or whichever you have. What? What? Uh, uh, what, what, if, what if you had a weapon instead? I do have a few weapons. My short sword. So if you, if you use your weapons, you won't take the fire damage from it. Is that... I mean, oh, okay. Uh, or not necessarily, anyways. You might still take it, but at the very least, you have a better chance of not taking fire yeah. damage rather than just punching yeah. it where you're guaranteed fire damage. Yeah, Chris. Or if you want, you can um, safely... You can expend key to safely um, get near Gordon and then use your crossbow. Is a short sword a monk weapon? Yes. Uh This is this fight's going to be really hard. Mm-hmm. It's going to be hard regardless. Whether we gave blood or not. This is just the harder version. Chris, what are you doing? I'm trying to think because, like, I don't know what to do. I can't punch it. Like, me, a monk, punch stuff. That's what I do. <laughs> uh... 
No, I'm gonna stick with the longsword. Uh, hold on. Actually, <sighs> ah, fine, fine. I stepped to the wind away to get around as way from these guys as possible, and I'm going to. Uh... I'm going to chill Here? touch. But you, you can't chill touch though. Oh, ah. But if you want, you can use your crossbow. Fine, I'll use my crossbow. Okay. Uh, rolling. Okay. 16 plus whatever. That hits. Sorry, I'm a bit, bit distracted. Still trying to think of a better way. How much damage? Oh, uh, right. Uh, it's uh, 2d8, right? No, it's not. That's not. That's chill touch. Um, 1d8. 1d8. Plus. Rolled max. So 12 uh, damage. Yeah, sorry. I'm a bit distracted. Yeah, and that seemed to be a much better hit. Like, um, the arrow, it, it does um, sort of... Uh, the, Bolt, rather, it does seem to break and burn up on contact, but you got a pretty good hit in him. Like, he uh, seems to be opening up a little bit. And that's going to now bring us to this same fire creature, or the second one, rather. Who is unfortunately giving chase to, um, uh, Gordon Fly. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it misses though. It tries to bring down its um, heated war hammer, but uh, Gordon's able to catch it with his shield. And now it is Gordon's turn. Oh no, wait, Go Go's turn. Go Go's turn. Okay. Um. Can I make a perception check to try and figure where where the uh, where the demon is or where I think it is? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna work. Perception eight. Yeah, you can't spot it. Damn. Okay. But you still have your action. Yeah. Well, since I don't know where it is, and I need, and I've got this thing right next to me, uh, I am going. Dual wield, I think. I'm gonna use my dual wielding to try and hit this, hit this thing twice with my tridents. Uh, I think if you dual wield, it would hit both of your hands, and then you take double fire damage. Not if I'm using my tridents. Oh, because they're like a okay, yeah. Because I'm not hitting with my hands. I'm hitting with my tridents, which are a different thing. How long are tridents? Uh, I good question. You have. <laughs> huh? I have two, remember? I, I got these back when we fought the giants. I missed the giant. Oh, they're the forks? The, the giant forks? Yeah, the giant forks. Oh, they're tridents. I missed that day. Um, uh, if I you. Yeah, it's 1d6 piercing unless I use it uh, versatile, which require me to use it with both hands, presumably. Correct? Yes. Yeah, versatile would require two hands. Huh? Or you can throw them. Or I could throw them, yeah. But it's also right in front of me, so... I'm not going to throw my yeah. tridents. Throw it, like, five feet in front of you. Less than five feet. Uh, I'm going to attack this thing twice with my trident. Okay, make the first stack roll. First attack roll. And that adds on 
strength, correct? Yes. Yeah. Strength. Oh, nine. That misses. And second attack. Yes. Crit fail. Yeah, so you're just flailing around your um, tritons, but the thing is that tritons... Oh, hey, a cat. Yeah. Oh. They're just really not designed to be used two-handed like this, so you're just flailing around all randomly. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, your, your, your weapons, you know, they pass, um, like, like through the flame of this creature, but they don't necessarily connect with the body, but you're able to feel its heat, and that's going to okay. bring Gordon. And um, I cannot get out of the way. Okay, because I attacked. Okay. Alright, um, I'm going to try and aim for number two with a longbow. Again, I'm okay. try and shoot it right. Yes, although it is, since it's so close, you will have disadvantage. Okay, can I move ten feet back? Yeah, like here? Yeah. How about okay. now? How about now? That yeah, that, that would be fine. Okay. Unfortunately, um, it does hit with its, um... Uh, reaction yeah. to smack at you as you run. Yeah, and you take seven damage as you uh, run away. But right. you're probably gonna do way more damage to this creature in a moment. I was gonna say I got a seventeen on that attack roll. Yeah. D10. Yeah, that hits. Ooh, that's a uh, eleven damage for the first one. Nice. So and, and... yeah, this thing smacks at you and like, <laughs> is that the best you can do? All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Oh. I'm going to do the same thing and uh, attack number two. Uh, that, does not hit. that does not hit. What'd you get? Yeah, I got 10. Yeah, that time, unfortunately, like the way you hit it, it the arrow just bursts into flames before it makes contact with this creature. Mm -hmm. Shut up. You shut up. Now the other one's going to go. How, how hot is it in here, by the way? Like, are, are we talking, like, in the middle of a, of a volcano hot, or middle of or the valley hot? Like, how, how hot are we talking? The trees, that... Volcano hot. It looked like it was, like, that Vol big. Oh. How are we not burning to a crisp? Okay, does a 15 beat your armor class? Who? Uh, go, go. Oh, yes, the 15 does. In that case, you take five damage as this thing brings its uh, warhammer down on you. Okay. Now it's the just turn. Finally. But uh, I'm still mad that I can't punch it directly. Why'd you do this, Drew? Why'd you do this to me? But do you know what the good news is? What's the good news, Drew? It already expended its reaction trying to get an opportunity attack on uh, Gordon, so you're safe to move. Yay! I move a little further away from it, right? Like here? Uh, as far away as I can, like from both of them, one and two. Or do you want to um be near um Gordon so that you can take advantage of that again if it approaches you? Advantage of it? Yes, yeah, so that well, yeah, that way you know if this thing chases both of you, it can't hit both of you if you run. I do you like that chance. I like I like those chances. Yeah. But but if you split up, then. We there only one of you will be able to make some sort of attack for sure. They both have ranged attack. Mm. Okay, now um, what do you want to do? Do you want to cast a spell or do you want to use your crossbow? I have my crossbow ready already, right? I thought you shot it. Yeah, you you shot I it last. Yeah, it. do you want to reload it or do you want to cast your spell? Does reloading cause an, cause an action? I can't shoot it again. No, I mean. You can only use a crossbow once per round. So can I shoot it again? Or do you want to use your cantrip? Your choice. So... Wait, aren't, aren't you a warlock? Yes. Don't you have Eldritch Blast? I do not have Eldritch Blast. I don't have Eldritch Blast. He went for a better spell. What's better than Eldritch Blast? I have a... Mage armor, silent image. Okay, guys, we don't need to go through your whole spell list right now. What do you do? Fine. Um, I think I can do more damage with mage hand, not uh, with chill touch. Okay, make the attack roll. 
Oh. How's what is that? Plus six. Well, yeah. Thirteen. A thirteen is unfortunately a miss. It just uh, bounces harmlessly off this creature. Can I reload body. it? Now that's re going to bring us to. Unfortunately, this creature. The demon lord. No, that thing has not made a reappearance yet. Hmm. Okay. Wait, did did it just try to walk past me? No. Damn. Okay, yeah. I'm guessing that a 14... Uh, no, no, yeah. Wait, um, Riley, your armor class is a 16, right? Um. So, I, I'm holding the bow. Do, can I hold the shield and the bow at the same time, or no? No. Then no, I have a 14. Sorry, in that case, he is able to bring his Warhammer on top of you. He got a 14 total. Wait, wait. Did my AC get boosted when I upgrade when I uh, leveled up from 7 to 8? I don't think so, no. I don't think so either. Okay. All right, lay it on me. Yeah, you take 10 damage. That's fine. I'm still at 23 okay. right now, so that's pretty fine. <laughs> they seem to really hate me. And okay, that is now. Now it's Gogo's -Go's turn. Do you want to okay. cast spell or make a weapon attack? Uh, perception check again. Okay, go for again, it. Again, I'm I'm gonna try again. And once again, I I just fail. It, it's a, it's a worse roll than last time. So okay. Again, I just don't. I got no idea where it is because I got. An eight again. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Can I disengage this and still attack it? If I if I get if I get away from it? Uh no, disengaging takes your action. Disengaging. Or if you want, you can just risk it and run. I'm I'm gonna risk it and run. Okay. Next, I'm going to run uh, to the right of the big X. Right here? Yeah, does an 8 beat yeah. your armor class? Thankfully, no. Okay, uh, now that I've got some room to move, uh, I've got to do this. Uh, it's taking damage, right? Yes. Cool. Toll the dead. I don't know if it's going to work, but I have to try something. That's a wisdom save? I'm checking that right now, but I believe so. Okay, yeah, it, it, well, don't worry, it definitely failed. At absolute best, yeah, you got wisdom. a 5 total. Hmm? Oh, I got a 5 total? No, well, that's at absolute best. Oh, okay. Depending on what kind of save it was. But yeah, go ahead and roll the... Uh... Damage. 12. 12 damage. Nice. So yeah, you just run from this thing, and yeah, you just make your gong sound, and like, severe cracks are beginning to form throughout this thing. It looks like okay. one big will finish it off. Okay. And now it's Gordon's turn. Okay. So... I am going to run... Well, you're kind of cornered at the moment. Yeah. I, I like run around Fitch. Um, yeah, Fitch is small enough and that statue's broken. You can try that. Okay, so can I like run as far as I can possible without like and still be able to take two act and take two attacks? Like here? Yeah. And luckily he missed with his um, opportunity attack. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to shoot some arrows at him. Nice. Um, nine. Uh, nine's a miss? Yeah, four's a miss. Yeah. Um, fourteen. Fourteen total is also a miss. 
I'm great at this. I'm just the best at it. Good idea. Yep, and this creature is getting chase. You gotta be kidding me. It's a go go. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, does a nine beat your armor class? No. Hey, today might finally be your lucky day. Yay! Except I can't fight this stupid demon. It's Stitch's turn. Where's the demon? Where is he? A demon. I don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> Let me get my hands on him for making me burn turn. my hand. Another chill touch. Let's go. Okay, do you back up first? Is he closer to me? Yes. Of course I do! Okay. Just, uh, kill Hoorah, let's go! That's a 14 plus 6. 6. That hits. Hoorah! 2d8. Plus. No, just plus 2d8. Nine. Ooh, 13 damage. Ooh, yeah! 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 You throw your Phantom Punch. This time, it was a very solid Stitch Punch. You Mind you, it's with my the burn center. hand. I punch it with the burn hand. Nice. And it, this whole thing just collapses. It uh, The fire goes out and it drops its Warhammer. So that's now loot, and there's the metal scrap. There you go. And, um... You have any relevant bonus actions? Uh, do I have any relevant bonus actions? Okay. Do you want to make any intelligence checks or perceptions or anything like that? Perceptions. Try, yeah, try to figure out where this demon Perception is. Perception for what? Uh, movement. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm assuming invisibility isn't pure perfect. Uh, yeah, tell you what. Yeah, did uh, are, are you looking for where this thing went? Yes, with raven eyes. Okay. That is. Oh, so where is the raven? Uh, it's up in the sky. Uh, perception, perception, perception. Plus four. Ooh, I like where this is going. That Unfortunately, you can't spot it. Not able to. Okay. Okay. Uh, now that's going to bring us to. Oh, yep, that creature's dead, so it's Go Go's turn. Cool. Perception again. Where the hell is this demon? <laughs> 11. A little bit better this time. Can't spot it. Still nothing. Got it. Yep. Good lord. Okay. Um. Ooh, uh, so to, to get from the lighter, lighter red to the darker red, would I have to jump up or? Yeah, that's, oh, that's 10 feet up. That's 10 feet. Okay. Yes. But you still have the immediate problem, this, um, cracked creature right in front of you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just trying to think if the, if I can actually, you know, just toll the dead on that, on that thing. Can I just roll damage? What? You know what? Don't even worry about it. You're just making a gong sound so piercing that you just shatter the metal. Cool. This whole thing just falls apart in like half molten chips or whatever, but don't worry, the Warhammer is completely intact. It rolled okay. a one and it had very low health. Okay. So, the, okay. So we've killed off both of the automatons. Now we gotta find this demon lord. Yep. Um, it's Gordon's turn. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... Search the skies! Find the demon! I'm going to try and use detect magic to try and kind of like ping if he's using any kind of magic that can like try to show me where he is. 
Okay. Yeah, all right. That, that doesn't require any kind of checks, I don't think. So, yeah, um, yeah, just from 30 feet around you, you suddenly get this um, magical detection. So, yeah, you see some stuff coming off of Thitch. Uh, he's wearing magical boots, and you can see that he seems to be intrinsically magical, as well as the the bag that he has um, flung around his back is also very magical. It's only a range of 30 feet? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, and, okay, then in that case, can I, like, move to the middle and then do it? Like and I think, like closer um, to the oh yeah, if you're moving around, and yeah, if you're moving around, then um, Gordon uh, Gogo is also giving off this effect, um, including his hat. Can, can Surprising I, no one. Can I move? Can I move a little bit further to the edge of like the dark red, or is it too far? Uh, one. Oh, man, uh, you can make it to about here. Okay. Oh, oh wait, what's the tone now? I'm just kind of here. On top of the zombie, is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm still not... Stand here. atop the zombie. I'm still not kind of seeing anything? Nope. Okay, um... But... Uh, oh, yeah, but do you want to search as a bonus action? To search? Yeah, making a perception okay. check. Oh, sure, yeah. But you are going to have to make yours with disadvantage, since okay. it's kind of dark towards the top and you don't have dark vision. Wow, I got 13 at the lower end. I got 15 and a 13, that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. So uh, here's the oh, thing. So I got a 16. Okay. Six, 16 total? 16 total. Yeah, here's the thing. Oh um, you actually uh, do see it. But that's because it's coming straight at you. But it doesn't catch you off guard, so it's not going to have advantage on its attack. Perfect. It goes immediately after you, and it was about to target you. Wow, that's that's pretty fun. Yep. I'm about to get. Does a 22 beat your armor class? No, that actually just misses. How? Because of shield? No, I'm I'm lying. (laughs) No. So, yeah, it's yeah, that's one yeah, good so it shoot. seems to be screeching something at you, and it flashes at you, but it's the weirdest thing. Its hand passes through you, and you take 11 psychic damage. Oh, that's weird. I am now at 12 health. But now that's going to bring us to fish. So, is it? It is here. Yeah. I come at him and start wailing upon him. Wait, how, also, how, how close? Is, to... is it too much to ask that you pay attention when it's not your turn? I was how dealing with the scammer. I was dealing with a Discord scammer. So, yes. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, now um, it's, um, well, that's landed. So, uh, question. Yep. You know, before, at the first turn, when I tried using my uh, blow, uh, blow of Fury of Blows? Yes. Did I use the key there? Yeah, you ended up uh, taking steps of the wind to get safely away from the fire creature. Okay, alright, so I'm at five. Uh, yep. Am I at five? Or am I at seven? Oh, well. Uh, well I'll figure that out later. one against the Necromancer to beat his body to a pulp. Right. <laughs> okay, so I am at six or four. Either way, um, I go up to this thing and start wailing upon him with the flurry fur- of blows or flurry of blows. Nice. Because guess what? He disappeared on me and he flew and he didn't let me punch him in the first place. And plus, he let me burn my hand on this thing with one of his little other things. So, uh, take this, you wretched okay. beast. Yes, and it seems to be laughing at you. It's an 18 plus whatever. That hits. So it's 2d6, 1d6, 1d6, plus 4. four. 8 damage. Okay. So, 
here's what happened. You throw your um, first punch at this creature, and it seems to be laughing at you, and your hand begins to pass through it a little bit, but you can feel just your connection to the key and your soul. It's like you're able to connect to this thing on a more spiritual level, and you just feel this whole punch. <laughs> and, it's, and it suddenly stops laughing, because it realizes how much damage it just took from you. It expected to not, it did not nearly be as effective. Question, how fast do I punch? <laughs> and how does fast is it react? I mean, I imagine it's like a quick punch, and then as you're winding up the next punch, you see his reaction. So, make the next attack roll. 19 plus whatever. That hits. Full damage. <laughs> 19 plus whatever, I love it. This is a 4 plus 4. 8 as well. Nice. Okay. Here comes the other punch. <gasps> oh my god! Thank you yeah, so much, Google. Here comes the giant <laughs> I understood that one. Also, since this flurry of blows, I got two more punches. Yep, you and can guess from my reaction thing. based on what I got. Nat yeah. 20. Wait, did, you got a nat 20? Yep. Nice. nice. Roll, nat roll 20 roll. plus whatever. <laughs> 2 8 plus 4. Uh, 4 damage. Four, four plus, uh, wait, four, eight? Okay. Eight damage? You just did eight damage, three attacks in a row. Let's see if you can keep it up. Let's see, let's see, let's see this. <laughs> last last punch. That's a... Are you kidding me, Charlie? Nine Sorry, plus it. whatever? That hits. Nice. It's 16 total, so yeah, that hits. This five, five damage. So yeah, you're just uh, doing like a um, hey, you're shadow boxing. Shadow boxing. Get it? Because this is a shadowy creature. Oh, what? It, it. This is the shadow duel. Shadow, uh, shadow the hedgehog. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you're you're just blowing. Laying down this wall, and now, um, go go. You you saw that, right? Yeah. That she's beating up a uh, a fiend. Hmm. What do you want to do? Hmm. I wonder what I want to do. Actually, Orcs. that's a really good question. What do I want to do? I wonder if that would have made any difference. I I love the reaction of the D, the fiend. He thinks I'm gonna. It's gonna not work. And then it does. <laughs> well, that would have been that would have been helpful. Oh well. Um, I am going. So now that I know where it is, yeah, I don't want this thing to escape again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Okay. And what Fairy Fire does. Is fairy fire. Uh, each object in a twenty foot cube within range is outlined in your choice of blue, green, or violet light. And it creatures in the area where the spell is cast is also outlined in yellow. Uh, is outlined in light if it fails a dex saving throw. Oh, okay. Okay. Does a twenty one pass? You okay. know, annoyingly enough, a 21 does. Yeah, so it's had to shake off your fairy lights. Damn. And that was your action, right? Yeah. Do you want to move closer at all? No. I'll be there uh, I would like to try to move up to the upper level. Okay. Yeah, right I mean, yeah, I, huh? I don't think you'll be able to climb this as a bonus action, and it's, it's actually Gordon's turn now. Okay. Do we cycle back to him or wait for him? Hopefully he'll be back soon, but now this uh, shadowy creature's gonna go, and it's gonna swipe at a uh, Thetch. 
Yeah, that's going to hit. Hold on. What's the AC? I got a 19 total. 19? Oh, man. Even with yeah. my ridiculously high AC. <laughs> yeah, and here's the thing. So it, its claw passes through your head and you take 11 psychic damage as the thing rattles around you. Dang it. Okay, uh, Riley, it's your turn. Okay. Um, Seven psychic damage? Yes. <clears throat> I'll pull out my longsword and just try and slash him. Go for it. Uh, does, hey, 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 Drew. Does yeah. a, a 26 be his armor class? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. For you. Um, all right. You're mocking me, um, Seven damage. So, yeah, you bring down your sword, but um, actually, your sword, it begins to pass through him a little bit. You're able to, like, uh, cut off some of his, um, you know, shadowy essence, but it's not as effective as you thought it would be. And you so, have another attack. Yeah, so does it, do I still do seven damage, or...? Um, you seem to have done a little less than seven damage. Okay. And then that one missed. What'd Why is get? it that only one of us can deal full damage to this damn thing? Well, wait, what'd you roll? Uh, 11. Oh, yeah, that, that meant... Wait, 11 total, or you rolled an 11? Total. Okay, yeah, that misses. Yeah, that time your sword just completely goes through and... Or it, rather. Now it's Stitch's turn. Is it my turn again? Is it still in front yes. of me? Yes. Guess who's doing another flurry of blows? Are you sure you want to use up all your key? Yes. How yes, badly is it? How bad is it look like, looking? Um. Yeah, you can see where it's kind of like seeping out. It's um almost like this black blood is dripping down it. It's got like this very shadowy effect, like because it, it evaporates like as soon as it um flows off of its uh, arms and chest. I'm seeing if I have an empty bottle. You want to collect the blood in the middle of a fight? No, I'm thinking about post fight. <laughs> I'm thinking oh, about okay. post Chris, fight. Can you think about Watch post it. fight during the post fight? <laughs> no, I must make sure I have the bottle first. <laughs> okay. Fine, I'll punch him normally with my three punches. Is it two? Three. Alright. That's a nat you one. You see the frogs in the background? You can re-roll those. Lucky me. No. You didn't. You didn't. Just, uh... Drew, let me see it. I mean, uh, Chris, let me see it. Yeah, Chris, let us see it. I'm going to share my screen here. Chris, can't you just ro rotate your screen? Well, I mean, like, okay, wait, let me. Like you've done before. Yeah, but I have the have it on this page now. Hold on, cancel. All right. Nope, that's that because this one has my code on it. I was coding in the middle of this. Right. What did it do? No. Okay. Anyway, Chris. Oh. Chris, you okay? Tell you what. Roll three d eight plus four. Three d eight plus four. Three d eight plus four. Yeah, because you got the nat 20 instead of the 2d8. Isn't it supposed to be double damage? So isn't that the worst? No, now it's triple. Because he went from a nat 1 to a nat 20, and that's just honestly yeah, so Yeah, because that, that is actually... And that's the reason why I love Google. Because it gives you stuff like that. Yeah, Chris, I I'm giving you physical dice this No! Time. I, I, will stay, I will stay away <laughs> from your horrible dice. Keep those dice away from me. Anyway, what'd you roll? Uh, what was it? 3d... You're so pissed. 3d8. Yep. A 1, a 4, and a 6. Plus 4. So, so 11 plus 4, 15. Yeah, 3d8 and we 18. Yeah, 15. That's so, pretty good. Yeah. You just, um, you just swing a punch at this, but as you do, you suddenly feel your key growing around it, and it's like there's a phantom fist around yours good. several times the size as you lay down the smack. Uh -huh. And, um, is that your turn? Don't I have one more punch? Oh, yeah, I guess you do. Go for it. <laughs> I guess you do. The ninth. This is why I love you, Google. Keep giving me those dice. 19. 
half heads, roll damage. Drew is so pissed. <laughs> A six plus four ten. <laughs> Mostly I'm just annoyed that why does Stitch get all the kills? Maybe yeah, someone else wants to get a kill for once. Maybe he just needs a better- uh, they just need better patrons. <laughs> they just need to be better. Yes! <laughs> okay. You smack into this thing and it begins to dissolve, but the wings stick around. No! No! Give me the blood! And yes, they do seem to be, um, yeah, there does seem to be like this pool of this strange blood in, in both of the wings. And I think uh, Gordon gets claim to that. Hey, in about um ten, maybe fifteen minutes, I'm gonna go outside and make a, I'm gonna look for a little bit because it's like a halfway of the eclipse. Yeah, probably a good time to wrap up anyway soon. But oh, there's an eclipse tonight? Yeah, there's yeah, a lunar, lunar eclipse. AK, blood moon! For the blood Pretty moon! Cool. Okay, yes, and with you guys finishing off this, um, this, uh, strange fiend and the wings dropping, uh, who wants the wings? Alright, uh, uh, no, wait, we split them. One wing to you, one uh, wing No, to Chris, because you got the blood, remember? Oh, right, yeah. fine, I got the blood. Can I so take we, his teeth? I mean, um, most of this creature just dissol- actually uh, tell you what. All that remains of this creature as it dissolved away are its um, you know, are its horns, its wings, and uh, two claws. I'll take a claw. Okay. I'll take the horns. Okay, but who wants the wings? I'll also take the wings of n- no. <laughs> Bad. I'll, Bad. I'll, I'll I'll take I'll take the horns and wings. I'll stick with the blood. Okay. Very You're obsessed blood. with liquids, so of course you want the blood. Yes, I am. And, okay, um, I guess that's where we can call this session. Mm-hmm. Alright. Wait. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay, I want to yeah. gather, like, okay, so, have the molten, like, uh, so I'm standing on top of a zombie, right? Yes. Okay, sweet, so I can throw that into the, the, the tube. Yeah, yeah, it, it, we can assume you guys throw all the relevant body parts down. Oh, right, uh, uh, the, these metal creatures, they both drop their war hammers. Um, oh, I picked one up. I assume you want one. Yes, I want one to tenderize the meat that I cook next. <laughs> and who wants the other one? Um, okay, I guess that just claims it. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, no, I do, this, I do the slow raise hand so that Ash can take it from me. Uh, and be yeah, like, oh, you, you, you can take it. I've, I've, I've got four weapons on me. I'm fine. Wait, what was it? What was the thing? What am war I claiming? Hammer. The Warhammer? War yes. A uh, strength. Okay, is that a monk weapon or no? No. no. Oh, but I it's loot. It. You can sell it. Oh, but I can't use it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I can use and it. And do you guys can also just it? want these, like, uh, the metal scrap from these uh, creatures? Actually, quite yes, actually. Okay. Can, can we pick any of that gold thing? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for tonight. I've been your host in Dungeon Master, Drew, and I'm being joined by... Fitch. And... Gordon Floyd. And... Yeah. Easy, I'll go. Well, next time, I'll go.